Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. I hope you are all doing good. So guys, as you all know that currently LTI Mindtree interview experiences are going on for 2025 batch students. So guys, here I am with the video. In this particular video, I will be discussing two interview experience for LTI Mindtree that happened today only that is on 24th October 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because in both of the interviews, you will get to know the different type of questions which are getting asked and what type of questions you should expect in your interviews. Whether the questions are related to IT subjects, whether they are related to non-IT subjects, whether they are related to coding or not. So all these confusions, you will be, uh, these will be getting cleared in this particular video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And guys, in middle of the video, I will also talk about that how you have to prepare for the interviews. Okay, I will be discussing about the notes from which you can prepare for your interviews for any company. Okay, so before moving ahead, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and make sure to share this video among your friends also because <clears throat> because they should also know that what type of questions are getting asked in the interviews and do join this telegram group this telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students for all the discussion regarding any placements for 2025 batch in this particular group these discussions will be happening so guys now let's start this video okay so guys let's just discuss first interview experience first okay so first question will be introduce yourself so as you all know the first question is you have to give your introduction to the interviewer so what type of things you can tell to the interviewer you can tell about the education background your skills your projects your internships your extracurricular activities your achievements any research paper you have published all these type of things you can tell to the interviewer your answer about your introduction can be around one to one and a half minute and it will give a good amount of information to the interviewer so that he can ask further questions on it okay it's a very important question as per the interview is concerned so do prepare it well next question is what is a thread life cycle so generally thread life cycle uh, okay so what is a thread so a thread is a like smallest unit on which a program runs this is a simple definition now what's a thread life cycle so there are different stages of thread so first thread is in new when once we create a new thread it is in new stage then uh, once, once the program starts, it is in runnable states. Once the program is running, then it is in running state. The thread is in running state. Then if a program requires any input output operations, then it is in waiting state. Then once the entire process is completed, then it is in dead state. So these are different different types of life cycle which a thread ha has. And whenever a program or a process is running on a thread, it goes through every stage. Okay. So I hope now this thread life cycle is clear to you. Now. Let's move to the next question is what are collections in Java? So guys collections is not nothing but they are inbuilt classes which we can use to provide a specific functionality. So for example there is a linked list class, there is a DQ class, there is a hash set, there is a hash map. So what are these? So these are inbuilt classes okay we do not have to implement on uh, ourselves. These are just inbuilt classes which we use in our code and they help us in receiving uh, in implementing a functionality for example what is a hash map it stores key value pair now we just simply import the hash map and we start using it we do not know how it is actually implemented so these are just inbuilt classes that we can use so that our programming can become like easy and readable so i hope now this is clear to you this question is clear to you next is explain explain oops concepts so guys in 10 out of 10 interview this question will be asked from you there are four OOPS concepts, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation. This particular question is so important that what I have done, I have made a separate video on it wherein I have discussed each and every OOPS concept in detail with the help of code and also told the real life implement, real life examples of these concepts in that video. I will give you the video link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to watch that. Okay. I hope it is clear to you this question. Next is what are real life example of OOPs? Again, I've told you that I have already discussed in a separate video. The link you can find in the i button. Next is write the code for matrix multiplication on notepad. So guys, yes, coding questions are getting asked in the mindtree interview. So it is not that there is some important subjects. There is not uh, like all the IT subjects which you are studying, whether it is related to coding, whether it is related to any other thing, operating system also. OOPS concepts, DBMS, all these things are important as per the interview is concerned. So if you have time, then don't skip any of these things. These are very much important. So matrix multiplication code, it's a bit, it, it's a bit complex code. I will give you this link in the description box. You can go and check it out yourself. 
Next question is explain your academic project. So again, if you are, I have uh, like told in many videos that if you are going for the interview for any IT company, any IT company, whether it is Mindtree, TCS, Infosys, Cognizant, you should have at least two IT projects in your resume. Because do why you should have projects? Because then there can be discussions on projects. Now discussions on project is a very good sign in your interview because you can drive that particular discussion and you can drive your entire interview. And second of all, the interviewer knows that okay, he has worked on these projects, he has good technical skills. Because see, interviews hardly of 20 to 30 minutes. So how he how the interview will judge you? Either he can ask questions from you, either he can see your resume and check your projects. So be prepared from all sides. You should have at least two projects in your resume. If you have time, go make it. They can be basic, but do make them. Okay. So I hope it is clear to you how to explain project in the interview. Again, I have made a dedicated video. You can go and check that out. Okay. So these are very common questions which are getting asked. Next, last question of this interview was why you want to join Mindtree. So the answer is simple. Why Mindtree? Good projects, good exposure. You have seniors working in this company and work-life balance is great. So all these type of things which, which are very common for all the companies you can tell in the interview okay that is not an issue so these are all the questions which are asked in the first interview now let's just move for the second interview but first you will be thinking that okay we know that okay this this type of questions is asked but from where we have to prepare because if we will simply search on google that what are oops questions what are c plus plus questions what are dvms questions then there will be a list of questions and you will not be having any resources for preparation so for that purpose only for solving that problem only we code bashers what we have done we have made a top mate page and on our top mate page we have important interview it subject notes now these particular notes are valid for every company not for not only for lti mindtree but for every company whether it is tcs cognizant infosys accenture mindtree wipro for every company these notes are important okay these notes are valid so in these particular notes we are covering total 12 subjects c plus plus oops questions java oops questions python oops questions dbms questions sql questions coding questions which are very commonly asked in the interviews operating and networking questions machine learning cloud computing because i know many of you will be having your projects in machine learning and cloud computing so what are the commonly and important interview questions regarding these subjects also we have covered in these particular notes and hr questions as well so these notes these 12 subjects uh, these notes will have 12 subjects every pdf for every subject there are around 20 to 25 questions as well as answers that how you have to explain it in the in interview so these are in these notes for every subject there are commonly asked and important interview questions as well as answers now these notes are valid for every company and these are at a, at a very no nominal price of rupees 99 and it is of lifetime okay you don't have to pay monthly you just have to pay once rupees 99 you will get the notes for these subjects and you can simply study from them okay i'm not saying that all the questions will be repeated from these notes only but majority of the revision purpose and majority of your concepts will be cleared from these notes okay if you are interested the link of these notes i will give in the i button or in the description box or in the pinned comment okay you just have to pay 99 rupees and it is for lifetime access okay so i hope this particular thing is clear to you if you are interested do check out the link in the pinned comment so now let's move ahead with the second interview experience okay so second interview experience again the first question introduce i have already told i am not repeating myself next is what is the difference between jvm jdk jre okay so again jvm is the basic unit then uh, above it is jre and above it is jdk okay now you have to go in detail that what are these things then you can always google or you can check out my notes also these this question is from uh, this question is present there also next is write the code for second largest element in an array so i will give you the link in the description box you can check this geeks for geeks article for this second largest element in an array next is explain your project in detail again a same question as in the first interview next is what is the difference between virtual dome and simple dome oh why this question was asked because the project of this candidate was based on the front end so therefore the question related to projects you should know the technology related to project you should know and all these type of questions can be asked from you okay now moving ahead to the next question is asked more questions from react because the project was based on react so this interview was a uh, little bit uh, small like of 20 minutes only 
the first interview was of 30 minutes but the ma majority key points here is that you should prepare your projects very well you should prepare it subjects very well because you are giving the interview for it company you should expect the it questions that are getting asked okay so i hope i have made myself clear all these questions i hope they will be helpful for you for preparing for your interviews and if you are still not feeling confident you can check out these notes these notes contain 12 subjects for every subject we have around 20 to 25 questions and answers which are very commonly asked and which are important for interviews for every company so they are at a very nominal price of 99 the links you can find in the description box do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel if you have not done it till now and do join this telegram group again the links you can find in the description box thank you for watching this video